welcome to this week's episode from Tav Rocks. Over the last couple of weeks, we've had sea or summer related stuff. So we've had a fish last week. The week before that, we had a beautiful pair of shades. This week, I think we're going camping. I've done quite a few of these little campers over the years and I've done wide ones and tall ones. And each time I like them looking completely different as well as a different shape to the one that I did before. So let's not wait anymore. Let's just get straight in to this week's project. I happened upon this perfectly shaped rock for this project. And at first I didn't know what I was going to do on it, but you already know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do the outline first. So this little thing is going to be a camper van and it's quite simple. You can do these as wide as you want, as tall as you want. Here's one that I've done before and as you can see it is very wide. So I'm going to take this away. I'm going to undercoat this, this in white and these rather than put white undercoat I'm just going to go straight on with these in black. So rather than leave you sit through it and watch me undercoat, I'll just take it away and bring it back when it's dry. Okay, let's get ready to move on. I decided to uh, leave colour in the, the tyres in it until the last moment. What we're going to be doing is all the outlines that we need now. The first outline that we need to do really are the windows. Now, when you see me drawing my line, you're going to see me stop in the middle. And that's because I drew mine with a pencil first. So I'm suggesting to you that you do yours pencil. So I'm going to choose my line where I want my windows to come down to. I'm going to decide how far I'm going to come away from the outside of the camper van. And I'm going to try and follow the line, keeping the same distance from this outline as possible. Now I want the split windows. If you're going to go over yours in a black pen like I have, don't forget, you can erase all your pencil marks. Now, time to follow the line, trying to keep the same distance all the way across. So leave a space here and here, which matches up with the outside. Just kind of guesstimate the middle here. Okay, before I do that, actually, I'm just going to add my line for my bumper. Okay, there's the line for my bumper. Just one second. I'll be back to finish that now. Now I'm going to join this with from right from here up to here. And the same on this side. So far, so good. Let's put something different in the middle here. They've always got like their, um, their spare tire or something here. But mine's not going to have a spare tire. Mine is going to have this rather lovely flower. And two headlights. and indicators. All right, so here's the plan. Normally, I would paint this in metallic and I use a silver. I'd also paint this in a metallic as well, plus the headlamps. Now you guys know that metallics don't work none too grand here, so I'm going to choose grey instead of silver. 
and we'll go from there see what happens okay scrap everything i just said because the very gray that i wanted to use is going to be used somewhere else in this project so i am going to go with the silver so it's these two the two headlights and the bumper already there's glaring but it's okay so far the good thing about these is it doesn't matter how big anything is it still looks great now I'm wondering whether or not to do the headlights in this metallic pen or to leave it white I'm gonna leave them till the last minute actually and we'll see what happens from there but what we do need is two nice little yellow circles here and now we need to choose a colour. Hmm, what do you fancy? Shall I do red? I do like the red ones. I could do red, I could do blue, I could do green. Oh, I I don't remember ever doing a green one. Yep, green one, absolutely. Okay, so I'm at the point where I could realistically finish now by putting the outlines on here, but I'm not going to. What I am going to do is add a background, which is going to consist of grey down the bottom for road, then green in the middle for trees and shrubbery and stuff and blue up the top for the sky so i'm gonna let you go whilst i do three colors on here just for a nice background our little camper van is looking mighty fine and it's time for some outlines now i put the gray in for the road a bit of blue for the sky i painted block yellow and then put different shades of yellow in dots over the top of it so I'm just going to outline everything. I'm going to put a couple of white lines across the windscreen area just to make it look kind of like glass instead of just a block of silver and there we are and that my lovelies is done are we ready for some journeys and I bet you're thinking well that was easier than you thought I hope so I want to see it all of your camper vans over on our facebook group because i love these little camper vans i can't help myself i think they're absolutely adorable give them a go see what different shapes that you can make follow the lines of the rock have a look at each individual rock and think yeah that could be a wide one this could be a tall one i've even seen round ones so let's have a look check that out this has to be another adorable camper van you can choose whichever color you like as you saw earlier i did this little red one quite some years ago now it's looking a bit moth eaten it's been battered around my garden somewhat due to the fact that the uh, the recipient never took it home. My little number plate says TAF R for TAF Rocks. Whilst this one is waiting for the last few little bits to dry off and start its hopefully monumentous journey, 
I would love to see this and loads more little camper vans on fantastic little rock journeys. Don't forget, you can even leave your rocks in our trading posts. I'll put some links to the description box below of the two trading posts that we currently have. Check them out. Doesn't matter what rock group you came from. So this little rock and I are gonna go home and when it's completely dry, we're gonna sit, dream, and think of all the fabulous journeys that we'll be able to have, hopefully, this nice summer. I'll catch up with you soon. We release new tutorial videos every Monday morning. If you'd like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or help us out with Patreon, Ko-fi, or something from an Amazon wish list. Until I see you next time, guys. Keep on rocking. Ciao for now.